Gerber making a title sequence. Dad, I'm 16. Hey, Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. What you doing? I just made a new trick or treat in here. So it's going to take like a few minutes to dry and then we need to be really careful peeling it off, okay? Okay, let me get one of those in your mouth. Just say, Okay, I just want to make sure it's secure now. Okay, so here's the, here's the agenda for tonight. You see this? This is my nose. I made a cast of my nose and I need to make a uh, I need to make a prosthetic nose for myself for Halloween. This is my son's face <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna make a uh, Phineas uh, face mask for him. So I got that. I got some uh, polymer clay that I'm gonna use to build out the nose. So here's 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 the nose I need to make. That is what I'm gonna be for Halloween. So I need to turn this nose into that nose. Uh, the other one I'm gonna be working on, my son is gonna be Phineas right here. So I made a plaster uh, cast of my son's face. Okay, so here's the other one we're gonna do. So we're gonna do, <laughs> so this one's gonna be a trick, right? His whole head is a triangle. I can do something super creepy. <laughs> my wife says I'm not allowed to do creepy. Okay, so I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna hide Phineas. We're gonna work on Doof first. Okay, so now, my friends, we are going to uh, apply some of the prosthetic noses that we made on the previous video. I'm gonna show this really quick. So we had, here's the, here's the plaster cast of Widmore's face. So if you look at that, it's his face. It's a perfect replica of his face that we made earlier. So in the other video, I actually ended up throwing away the clay. I wish I'd kept it, um, but after the, the liquid latex is dri dried off. I was able to just peel it right off of the clay. Pro tip, use some um, like baby powder on it. Otherwise the latex will stick back on itself and it will not come back undone. So, actually on this nose, which I'm gonna show you, this was a, this was Widmer's nose. You can see it fit right on there on top of the clay. <laughs> That's his Phineas nose, so we know that it'll fit perfectly on his face when we glue it on in just a moment. And then my nose uh, was the Doofenshmirtz, so this was a plaster cast of my nose. I really wish I'd done my whole face, it would've been a lot cooler. Um, but you can see there, it went over the clay and it peeled off. And I actually made a bit of a mistake. You can see where it's all bubbled up right here. Um, it started to stick on, you know, on itself a little bit, and I don't tell anybody but I blew into it because I thought it would blow like a balloon and pop off, but it like ended up making a little bubble. Don't do that! Um, but I learned a lot uh, doing this. So we're gonna apply these prosthetic noses onto our face so I can become Doofenshmirtz and we can have a little uh, Phineas. 
which by the way, we had one more nose. So this one is the one I made out of a square of clay, which is gonna be Ferb's nose. And we decided, since we didn't have a fur, we're gonna stick it right on the back of his head, try and put some fake eyeballs, some green hair, and we're gonna have Phineas on one side, Ferb on the other, we're gonna check that out. We're gonna see how that works. So here we go. So we're gonna apply While the face goop is drying, I'm gonna put some some goop on the nose here, and just so you can see the beautiful latex monstrosity itself. Hold it up here. Got some nose holes to help me breathe. That I really needed nose holes because the first time I tried to put it on, it was inflating like a balloon. Even if I tried not to breathe out my nose, it was like. <laughs> not proper Doofenshmirtz. So I cut out some nose holes and then I was able to breathe. So good, so good. Okay, here we go. So this is, I think, adequately coated with latex. So this is, a, this is the plan. As soon as this is dried just a little bit, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pop it on. Okay, so I think, I think it may be dried enough, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try and put this Right, right on my old nose holes. Um, but we'll we'll try it. We're gonna we're gonna do it. It's gonna change my nose from this to awesome. Yeah. See that? I missed all, I misaligned a little bit, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Kind of snapped it right on there. That is Doofenshmirtz Schnozberger. I'm Dolphin Durgen Snooger Nurgen. That's it. Daddy, good. daddy. Yeah, you see daddy. Daddy? Who's daddy? 
Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more touches on and then bring Phineas back in and touch up a little, powder it up a little bit as best we can uh, for the Doofenshmirtz nose. But that's it. Like, I think the profile works pretty well. Uh, this is the real life Doofenburger. Okay, so now we're gonna apply this. Mine is a little bit drying. Uh, Widmore here, or Phineas as I should say. His nose is, is about dry. So we're gonna apply a little bit of uh, concealer. Conceal, don't feel, hide it, don't let it show. Close your eyes. Um, to blend in his face. Takes, takes the shiny off. Blends in the colors a little bit. Makes him pretty, huh? pretty cool. Okay, so that's good. Let's turn around, let's go to the back. Try and blend this in, little little Furby's hair here. Uh, we'll have to do a little bit of movie magic on this. Um, I would say definitely, if you wanna be legit, shave the kid's head under here bald to make the perfect uh, Furb. And then put a little smiley right there. Burp. Let's see, yeah! Say, do you like it? Yeah. Okay. All right, my friends, we'll see you on the uh, flip flop. Okay, so now we're going to color the hair. So we're gonna do orange in the front, green in the back. You can either use hair spray paint, which I don't prefer just because I feel like it doesn't ever apply that dark of color. So instead we are going to use, this is Halloween face paint and we have orange and green, of course, um, and this works really well. This is what we did on Halloween. So you just get it on your sponge and then you just put it in the hair. It's super easy. You can do it super thick. has super crazy spiky hair. So there you go, take a look. So that is our orange hair. You can apply more if you want or less if you want. This really makes it look pretty natural. We also purchased a wig and the wig was just really too big. in the front so now we'll do the eyes so these are just big old giant googly eyes you can buy at any craft store these are the same size and we are just going to apply them so these move around so it doesn't matter what side you apply them on we just put some they come with stickers so you can just peel off the stickers and apply them straight on and we want him to be able to see of course so he can go trick-or-treating so we are just gonna put them up a little bit and we're just gonna smash them down there we go now the other side a little close together all right there we go so we did have this foundation did you want to try that okay okay cut that part out okay so now we have Phineas let's turn around and do Okay, so for Ferb, we bought this another pack of eyes, but he has different colored eyes, so you need to buy big and a pack of small. And we're gonna do the same thing. They came with the sticky pads on the back, and we are just gonna stick those on. Okay, and we're gonna put those right above. Let's do the big one first. Okay, and Stick and stick. 
Okay, keep watching. We are now going to transform the back into Ferb. So Ferb has classic big high water purple pants, a yellow shirt, and a purple belt. You can get all these things off of Amazon. All right, so we are just gonna use safety pins. We are gonna pin this on to create the magic. The idea is just to get it so that it's twice, two up here, two on the sides, so it stays in place. So turn around, turn around all the way. Okay, so that stays in place. Okay, back. Okay, so then the pants are high waters. So we're gonna put those up pretty dang high. And again, just make sure that you clip your safety pins on the back side so they're not visible. really true DIY um, what you really should do is just sew these onto the back of the clothes that is a much better idea <laughs> live and learn right so you've got the shirt you've got the pants you've got the belt and it's kind of hanging off of them so if this was sewed we would of course just just pick up the back of the shirt so true DIY we have just pinned this on okay put your head up so you can see your face okay Trick or treat. <laughs> Trick or treat. Okay, so for Perry the Perry the crying <laughs> for Perry the crying baby platypus, uh, we have a, a green onesie that she wore, and then what we did is we just picked up some 99 cent sheets of felt from the hobby store. And I made, I just cut out some simple little uh, feet prints that'll go on her shoes. We're just gonna, we're gonna put those on. You can see, I just bobby, bobby pinned it on. And then I bobby pinned those on for the, for the tail. For the, for the tail, we just did a platypus tail that we bobby pinned onto the back of her pants. We'll show that in a minute. And then I'm gonna cut it out, but I, I lost. We had another one cut out for the bill. And I was trying to decide the best way to put it on. For a, for a two-year-old, you can't really put anything on her face. She's gonna rip it off. So what I did is we just made a smaller version of the bill and we just put it on um, her shirt. So that's what you'll see in the pictures. But I will just cut these out. I will include a pattern for those that need a pattern. But just to show how I'm gonna cut that out. Pretty simple. Essentially, you cut out a square and then round it off on the edges. But like I said, for those who really want a pattern, I will include one. But there we go. There's the, pretty simple, there's the bill that we're gonna put on our shirt right here for Prairie the Platypus along with her hat and her shoes and her tail. And that's Perry the Platypus. Mm -hmm.